That looks that really looks so good. much better than dude, it did, that dude. looks good. Yeah. He's like conveniently there to die. <laughs> Red shirt. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another reaction. We are here for Boba Fett's, uh, what episode is it? Episode six. I always forget, because the last one was basically a Mandalorian episode. I'm Nicholas, joined today by Mike. What's up, Mike? How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Excited to get back to some uh, Boba Fett story and maybe wrap up uh, what's happening with him. Well, let's uh, let's just get into it, talk after. Uh, here is uh, Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett. Episode 6, Season 1. 3, 2, 1, do it. Yeah, uh, I, we didn't catch it, but the little... It looked like she might have been making chain mail. Mithril. Mithril, yeah. <laughs> he might actually be back this episode if they're doing this much in the Previously On. The fact that they're ending the Previously On with that line. Vader. BB-8. Oh my god, these are way too fast. C-3PO, Kylo Ren, Boba Fett. I saw a random X-Wing pilot. Is that Luke's landspeeder? Oh, shit. The marshal's back. No armor, though. I like the medium shot, the, the cowboy shot. From the hips up to... Shoot out, come on. Think it through, that's right. Classic Western. If you've seen Deadwood, that's basically what his character in Deadwood does all the time. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing in my town? <laughs> this, the marshal seems to sue him all right. I like, it mm. works fine. Is he back or is he, oh, we can't, no, we're, man. Well, so much for Boba Fett again. He, he might have already gone to Grogu. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> not that <laughs> He's, dude, we're going to see freaking Luke again. <laughs> Isn't this the planet that, yeah, Luke was on? What's up, R2? And he's come a long way. Uh, liking <laughs> droids now. Like, he despised them uh, at the beginning. That's right. He's not as religious as he used to be. Right, he's waking up a little bit. Grogu's here, apparently. That's what it kind of sounds like. Because I speak R2, you yeah. <laughs> know. Oh, R2-D2 continues beeping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not expecting this. I was expecting to go back to Boba Fett, and then, you know, we see him, like you said, kind of in the climax. I'm making a bench for you to sit on. Is that a bench? Clearly these aren't communication droids. <laughs> yeah, come on, dude. You're smarter than that. <laughs> They're building a Jedi temple? Yeah, they're building shelter. Jedi Academy? This might be the beginning of the Academy, yeah. Have a seat. It was, in the books, it was like Yavin 4, something like that. It did kind of look like Yavin with the steep hills. Oh, somebody's sitting up on the hill. Is that Luke? Bonsai tree. Yeah, Luke is training Grogu. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Holy shit. That looks good. That looks really good. <laughs> yeah, that looks much better than the last time. Oh, don't eat them. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> that looks that really looks so good. so much better than dude, it did, that dude. looks good. Yeah. I was not expecting this. Look at that. That just looks like they, they filmed it. Yeah. Shit. He's got the little scar and the dent, uh, mole and everything. Either they took some criticism to heart, or they had more time and money to yeah. make it right. <laughs> All the frogs. Whoa! <laughs> I have to say, if I'd be Mark Hamill, I'd be a little irritated. Oh, yeah, you took this long to... They wrote, basically wrote me out of the fucking sequel trilogy, and then... They didn't write him out of it, but... It just, the whole older cast is just a means to an end in the new trilogy. Yeah. His name is Yoda. He was small like you. <laughs> He's just like helping him along. And the force was strong. Wow, we're getting a Grogu flashback. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan wouldn't have had any trouble with seven 
clone troopers. <laughs> oh my gosh, Soka! Like everybody, yeah. bringing them all together. Is he gonna be a student too? Let us take a walk. Just gonna break it to him that he doesn't need to see you. It might teach him enough to how to wield that dark saber, though. That right. I warned you, Lena. There is no place in the galaxy more safe than here with you. <laughs> well, for now, anyway. Yeah. Come on, let him see him. Yeah, it'd stop a lightsaber, right? It will, because it's... Asgar. Damn. Just wait till he's trained. You know? It's like, give him a chance to, to train. Luke's carrying Yoda on his back. It's familiar. <laughs> That's so fucking cute. Yeah, what, didn't in the flashbacks in the last movie uh, show Luke and Leia both training in the very, like here probably, in a very similar environment? The bamboo is like sticking out to me. God, it looks so good. I can't tell the difference between, I assume that shot's CG and when he's a puppet. Get ready, buddy. <laughs> this is gonna stink a little. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, Yoda. <laughs> oh my gosh. People will be flipping out about this. <laughs> Yoda and the Emperor should never have had lightsabers. He didn't fucking need one in the old movies. <laughs> For that exact <laughs> reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that effective, but... Oh, that was what he was supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> it's more like he's remembering that I'm actually teaching him anything. He's a clone. Huh. Yeah. All right. Mando sounds. It's going back to Tatooine, it looks like. I want to see Boba Fett. Like, We're going to right now. Do some, some political maneuvering. I don't even want to see him kick ass. I just want to... <laughs> That's the, that's your guard. For... Right. <laughs> you just let the spaceship roll up in there with a the nuclear bomb, but, but you got... <laughs> the storm is about to It was a schedule <laughs> God, this guy. They they put the ruler now. They put the freaking skull of the cray dragon on top. Yeah, there's a lot of giant life in this desert. That... <laughs> Is he gonna get the Jawas to fight for him? That's what I thought at first. <laughs> I think he was just flying by. Is that the skeleton of the crate dragon that they killed as well? They piece this thing up. It's more than that. They'll. I mean, they'll be there to mess with you sooner or later if you right. don't do something. Everybody wants to live in a vacuum. Yeah. People just want to live and not... Right. But they don't see the bigger picture. It's a classic Western trope. Yeah. The, okay. He needs a He needs a. Is this Doc Holliday coming in or something? Like, what's going down here? <laughs> he needs a cowboy hat because he would be sunburned as hell. With that hair, man. Yeah, Come on. Show off that hair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, boss? Go get an angle on him or something. Oh, man. man, who's this guy? And who might you be? I like his duster. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. <laughs> hey, the marshal ain't for sale. One of them's about to die. Yep. <laughs> that might be why they brought this kid in. Is I'm sorry, I didn't catch you in. Head up. I ain't careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. Yeah, at least I have a nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's windy out here, can you speak up? If you tell your spouse when you check that it's close to this. <laughs> you should have never given up your arm. That's a threat. Like, dude, what are you doing? 
We gotta get behind the pillar, that'll help. That, that guy's dead. One or both of them's dead. He's like conveniently there to die. <laughs> Red shirt. <laughs> oh. He got him killed. He's a scary dude. Yeah. Absolutely menacing. Well, they, the town just so happened it's convenient timing. There's a bigger picture going on here, and they are in threat, too. <laughs> Boom. Yep, it's all that. Gonna have to get the Rancor out. Yeah! Eat some pipes and a Rancor. I think that's more of a temple than a shelter, though. He is going to show him after all. Oh. I will give you a choice. Uh oh. His own lightsaber. Yep. Some little baby. He's this supposed to build his own. Yeah, he is. Is a lightsaber. It belonged to my teacher, Master Yoda. Oh, I see. So he must have had it at his little hut mm -hmm. when he died. But you may choose only one. Why? So he's, it's another lesson. It's not about the item. But if you choose the lightsaber, you will be the first student in my academy, and I will train you to be a great Jedi. Aw. I mean, you'll outlive Both. Luke, so just get the lightsabers and get the <laughs> armor later. <laughs> of course they end it there. So which do you choose? We got a little bit of Boba Fett. He was in one one scene. Uh, I think so I don't even know Luke, if he had a line. Luke wasn't Luke wasn't attached to Yoda or Obi Wan or Leia or Han. <laughs> like what? Right. <laughs> it ended up okay for him, but he still understands the way it's supposed to be. He did almost go to the dark side, though. right? And of course, he knows his father. You know, ended up being the biggest betrayal ever. Right. So, but that attach that attachment is what enabled them to kill the emperor if if the In father the hadn't hadn't loved him and if he hadn't gone back to try to that's convert right. him that's right but it's religion it doesn't have to make sense <laughs> <laughs> just gotta believe <laughs> don't question yeah mark hamill yeah mark hamill that looked way better on the, the facial And there was a lot stuff. of screen time, too. That was like yeah. a, a third, if not half of the whole thing, he was in it to be CG'd. So. Oh, yeah. Expensive episode, yeah. They all are, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if, um, you know, they're clearly... They have to figure out some kind of method to make it as efficient as possible, but... I mean, the costs for all this have to be way less. The cost for effects like that. I mean, you're hiring talent. It's probably the biggest cost. Yeah, the talent that knows how to do it. Uh, and honestly, the uh, the technologies get better, so it becomes more efficient in the use of the talent's time to do it. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's... Uh, like compared to when the prequels were, were filmed, just the cost of all these uh, renderings and stuff has to be a lot less. I would think. Oh yeah, less. yeah. Because um, if you think about the processing power, has come gotten so right. much cheaper. Yeah, I don't know about the Star Wars shows, but the the t the Marvel shows end up pretty much having the same budget as a movie does. Right. But there's in you know you end up getting three times the amount of screen time for everything, so they really have to be efficient about how they. They do things. Um, like WandaVision was probably, on an episode basis, pretty affordable, you know, reason, pretty reasonable on the first few episodes. And then they spent basically, you know, half their budget on the last two episodes. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, as far as, like, the fights and, and all the big set pieces and stuff. It just, I mean, I don't know myself but it seems to me like once you have the process and the equipment and the talent to do effects like that 
Yeah. What's the what's the added cost? Right, know? right. Uh, it's the opposite of uh, diminishing returns. You get you get more for your money. You know, the the more that you do, you're already spending that groundwork there. So, the, right. the more you, you you might get double the amount of usable footage for just a quarter more of the cost or whatever because you've already got that infrastructure, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty fun episode. Wasn't you know it was still Mandalorian. I like that more than I like that more than the last one. Just I don't know if there was more going on. I guess. Yeah, it it, it it on two fronts. It related more back to the why we're watching the show, the Boba Fett show, even though Boba yeah. Fett had one line and one scene, but it still related more back to the overall plot of what's going on. But we still got you know these characters that were established in the Mandalorian. Mandalorian, Grogu, uh, Luke, uh, Ahsoka. Uh, uh, yeah, the Marshall. Yeah, the Marshall, right? Uh, I don't all, think he's dead. I don't think he is either. Um, they said get a bad pack, and when it hit him, it, he like it's almost like he took a shoulder shot or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. So um, I, I still think uh, they're all gonna chime in for the finale there. I, I don't know if like Luke's gonna show up on Tatooine to help defend he Boba wouldn't. Fett, but you know. No. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but uh, the Mandalorian is their connection there. Uh, I liked it though. I, I think I like that one more too. Now, I might be biased because you know I grew up with the with Luke. Luke being you know the Jedi that we we all followed or whatever, and he was you know in this half the episode, and it looked good and like it's cool to see the training side of it. I mean, Grogu got a freaking training montage. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> they wanted to do the reverse of Yoda training. Exactly, Luke. clearly, yeah, the, clearly. The reverse thing. Um, and I think you're right. Maybe maybe Grogu is a clone because that's been established now in canon, that cl this cloning thing, obviously with the, the troopers, but with Palpatine and the, ma the main timeline. And then um, yeah. that I can't remember what Luke said, but it kind of sounded like he was. Uh, he said he's remembering. Right. So either he was trained by a Jedi or he was a clone of Yoda. And the other thing is, his face looks like Yoda. And when they did the other creatures of the same species, they weren't even the same color. Right. They slapped. There's <laughs> other variations. Like this looks like mm -hmm. a baby Yoda. Like it might have mm -hmm. been aptly named by fans right off the bat. But I mean, isn't he from the cloning facility? No, they've never established that. They, at the beginning, the scientist had him. Yeah, but and, when they got him back, but and later on in the series, they, you know, they were uh, alluded to the the clones when they went and busted up that one base that had like uh, Snoke in there as clones or whatever. But they never directly connected that Grogu came from the, the cloning facility. But it's all why uh, there's no reason it couldn't be right. Uh, like, well, why was that? Why were they so interested in him? In Grogu, the cloning? yeah, the, uh, the uh, 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 Warner Herzog and the and he had the the clone guys worked under him, and they went. I thought presumably for you know the classic midi chlorian count thing. You know. Well, the one, the one, yeah, that, that's the other option. They were looking to clone him, right. or he was a clone, or both. Right. But the the one uh, genetic scientist or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, um, I can't remember his name. That so it's certainly, guy. certainly a lot of hints or possibility that he could. Be. Well, I think we need certainly to go back and watch uh, Mandalorian again, and uh, not to do reacts, but uh, mm -hmm. but to kind of catch up and. Now that we have, you know, you know, classic, you get more information later on, you you rewatch something and you pick up on, on more stuff or whatever. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm kind of presuming he is at this point in time that Grogu is a clone. Uh, for for all said reasons, uh, just discussed. So. How would, yeah? How would they clone Yoda if he was disappeared? Yeah, it, it, I mean, technically, he fought, he what, fought we, what we know in, in this galaxy in current time, uh, that all you need is a, a certain set of uh, genetics, and that can literally come from saliva. It can mm -hmm. come from, you know, it could, you know, there's, there, you know, you can imagine this kind of uh, yeah, technology in this galaxy being maybe more advanced and just this getting DNA copies from just something as simple that you touch 
and then later, you know, he opens the door or something, and they get a a, a, a DNA sample from it. I, I don't know. Uh, I think there's ways. I th like a cell, any cell nucleus would have the full some... code. Right. Yeah. Um. He fought the emperor in that chamber. Right. You're touching so off. there yeah. could have been. Yeah. Um, could have been a little. Yeah. And then, of course, all his stuff was on whatever that planet was. Uh, yeah, uh, Dagobah. Dagobah, yeah. Uh, exactly. So, maybe they got a hold of it some way, somehow, some way. So, but I dig it. Pretty cool episode. Uh, yeah, that is, it is fun to bring it. They're, they're, um, some of the side characters that they're bringing in from other stuff or whatever it, it, it works you know this is probably what this is probably the kind of episode that people were looking for when they were not liking the early episodes sure uh i'm, I'm a little disappointed about the tuscan thing because that was sort of yeah. the whole point right and i mean I, I understand that now that he's using those uh, those understandings to build an army now uh but I mean, the Tuscans would have been great way, as far as the muscle later on to bring him in. You know, he, right. he learned from them. But there's just one more, one more episode. Are we? Yeah, there's only seven. Is that right? Oh man, I think so. And we're on six. So yeah, they've they've collected everybody, and now we have to get to tie all these loose ends. And it'll be a. I'm sure there'll be. My presumption is they'll tie up. I don't know. Has the second season been announced? Uh, I presume they're going to tie up Boba Fett's hold on the area, but yeah. still, obviously, well, that's if they if they defeat the syndicate and then the huts could be next season or something, right? But you right. assume that the the syndicate is maybe not friendly with the huts, but they have the same goal right now, and the huts are willing to let them take over, right? For whatever reason. To destroy Boba, I guess, or I don't know. But. Right. Is it going to be a series finale or just a season finale? We don't know. So, hmm. I mean, if they're going to just use Boba Fett as a a sloppy way to tie loose ends together, I don't want there to be another season. Uh, hmm. But you know, I, I like the character clearly and. I think uh, Morrison does a great job with it, and I like Phoenix Shand, and I don't know. I, I just, everything about the season, you know, just seems slapped together. It's like almost a second right. thought uh, to, to everything else that's going on. They're trying to build this bigger universe like Marvel, and uh, yeah. it's just going to be that way sometimes, I guess. Yeah. But um, it does feel like two separate stories in a way, because... We could have had a, the first few episodes chronologically from the Sarlacc to the death of the Tuscans and the um, up to the events of the Mandalorian. That could have been part one, right, in chronological order, and then move on. Right. I think that probably would have worked a lot better. Actually, but it still might have felt like two different stories. Right. But I actually put in the timeline up to those first four five episodes or whatever it was, uh, four episodes, I re, it only took about an hour. I just threw them all in the timeline and premiere and cut up all, separated the flashbacks from the present day and then just rearranged them in, in chronological order. And, uh, yeah. I think when I rewatch the series, I'm going to watch that cut. So you episode one and two are all just flashbacks. And before mm -hmm. it gets to the present day, of him getting to uh, the town of Sespa and, and starting up his thing there and then continue on, you know, I, I think it'll... do that for the Patreon, do like a chronological Boba Fett. Right, well, you know, can't I can't... with putting post, it up. I can't post whole <laughs> right. things like that, but that, right. I'm sure that would be requested, uh, you know, if people want to see it that way. Uh, uh, it does actually work out, not only with the time links, but the name of the episodes, that if you take the flashbacks from the... Uh, first episode and the second episode it makes a new episode one 
and the third episode flashbacks from the third episode and the fourth episode it makes a coherent episode two you take the present day from episode one and two it makes a coherent three and the present day from episode three and four it makes a coherent four like yeah. it, it works it flows they're all about 35 to 45 minutes each and i can't remember the titles of each one now but the titles actually work for the recuts too it still lines yeah. up it's kind of odd <laughs> there's a director's cut of the godfather it's all three films in one and it's chronological mm. so whereas the sec half of the second film is a flashback right so that goes to the beginning right so it starts with Vito Corleone as a baby and ends with Michael Corleone as an old man. Right. So there's no flashbacks. It's a, it's like a director's cut he did, I guess. That's uh, interesting. And it is. It's cool to watch that way. It's different, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the flashbacks course. are used really well uh, as they were originally put, too, so. Oh, in The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah it, t it totally parallels uh, his struggles uh, when he comes to the U.S. Right. and start, tries to take over uh, the neighborhood, so it totally parallels those to the scale of what's happening with Michael as he's, you know, going through the um, learning the ropes, as it were, doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Mike, thanks for joining me. We'll catch you on the uh, definitely on the uh, the final episode. The final episode. Hey, you all, join us back. Like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh let's let us uh, know what you think uh really helps the channel get going with the whole like thing my algorithm you know how it is uh we got full episodes on patreon if you care to check them out it's all up to you link in the description below otherwise we will catch you on the final episode of the book of boba fett peace <laughs>